Okay, this is a walkthrough of how to do MIDI Relay on Mac OS to control your Jans Vista. So uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is download uh, the binary for Mac. And so I've just released a 2.0.1 with some bug fixes. So you can download the version for Mac. So I've downloaded it here and then I actually moved it once I unzipped it to my documents folder just so it can live in there. Uh, but before you run it, you're going to want to do some MIDI setup. So uh, you can get to that on Mac uh, a bunch of different ways, but it's the audio MIDI setup. And then once you got that open, come up here to Window and choose uh, MIDI Studio. If it's not already open, you can come up here and say Show MIDI Studio. And then uh, you've got a few different options here, and the one you want to use is the IAC driver. So if I double click this, you can see it's kind of grayed out right now. If I double click it, right now it says it's not online, so it's offline. And I'm going to name it Vista. And I'm going to say device is online and hit apply. And so now it's not grayed out and you can see it's named Vista. So I don't need this anymore. I'm going to close all that out. Now you want to run the MIDI Relay software. So you want to open a terminal window. And again, you can get to that through Spotlight or however you'd like to do it. And I put mine in my Documents folder. So I'm going to go to Documents. And I put it in this MIDI Relay folder. And then I want to run the executable. Now let's see. I'll just, I'll just drag it over. That's fine. A little bit easier. All right. And hit enter and it will run. And you can see it found uh, all the MIDI input and output ports that are on this computer. Specifically, there's one called Vista or Vista Bus 1. Uh, so now I'm going to go over to uh, Vista on the machine. And then you want to go to File, User Preferences, in the MIDI tab, and then in our external MIDI ports, you want to check Vista Bus 1. This is going to allow MIDI data to come in uh, to Vista on that port. Uh, so now let's say I have a queue list um, and I want to enable MIDI control for that. So this one here, queue list 31, it's this one with the checkbox here. I'm going to right click on it and say properties and go to the MIDI tab. And if I want it to advance that queue list, then I want to use this play option. So I can choose any note I want. Um, but for now, I'm just going to leave that where it is. And I'll show you how you can have it learn and pick up the note from Companion. So I'm going to go over to Chrome, where I've got this open. Let me just get this out of the way. And in Companion, you want to add a new instance of MIDI Relay. So I'm going to type in MIDI and Tech Ministry MIDI Relay and add it. And my target IP, since it's running on this same computer, is going to be 127.0.0.1. If you had it running on a different machine, you could just do the IP address of that machine and then hit Apply. And now I'm going to go to Buttons, and I'm just going to add a new button here. Uh, this is Companion 2.0. It's got a few different option types. I'm going to choose Regular Button. And uh, I'm just going to call this Play. And I'm going to add a new action. Mini Relay, I want to send a note on. And I'm going to choose the Vista Bus 1. And I'm just going to use the default A0, Note 21. Um, let's make this a little bit bigger. And really hard to see that. That's okay. We'll leave it all there. Um, so this note. Now if I come over here to Vista and I say learn, it's going to listen for that note. So now I'm going to come back to companion. It's kind of hard to see that at the same time. And I'm going to say test. And you saw that went away and it heard. Play was note 21, which is an A0. So I'm going to hit OK. And now, uh, if I come over to Companion and I were to run this action, you'll actually see it advance from Q1 to Q2 every time I hit Test Action. 
And that would be the same as if you had a physical Stream Deck and you were just pressing the button. Uh, that's all this test actions does. So that's a way to move forward in queues. Another method that you can do is I'm going to add another button here and I'm going to say regular button. And I'm just going to call this MSC really quick. And I want to choose to send an MSC command. And I'm going to say again, Vista 1, device ID 0, command is go. The queue is going to be, let's just make it Q2 on queue list 31, because that's the current queue that we have. And we'll leave that be. Now you need to come back over to Vista and make sure that you've configured under MIDI to use device ID 0. Uh, and then you can hit OK. So now if I run that from Companion, it'll actually, every time I run this, skip back to Q2. So uh, again, if I were on, let's just say I hit this, now I'm on Q5. If I come over and run MSC, it will jump straight back to Q2. So you can do that for any queue list. You just have to type in the queue list here and then the actual queue number, and it will run that. Uh, so that's two different ways to control Vista using Tech Ministry MIDI Relay, uh, sending MIDI notes to Vista uh, on a Mac through the virtual MIDI port.